Hello everyone, a very warm welcome from Edu Supplement. Today we are here for another tutorial on SCAPS 1D simulation program. In this video, I will show you how you can vary the material parameters or different properties of the structure and get results from it. To get the best out of it, it will be convenient if you see our previous video which is SCAPS 1D tutorial, a first look beginner's guide, because it will cover the structural ideas and the basic ideas SCAPS 1D tutorial. Okay, let's start. So today, what I'm going to show you is how you can vary the thickness of the absorber layer of this simple pyrovoskite solar cell that we discussed in the previous video and get the all solar cell parameters, that means open circuit voltage, short circuit current, fill factor, and efficiency uh, for different thickness in a single run, rather by running it multiple times. So after uh, getting the data, you can plot them and or you can and, uh, analyze them and uh, you can expect to have such kind of result that is the result shown here. That is here, this is the thickness, and this is the open circuit voltage, thickness, short circuit current, then thickness, field factor, and thickness, efficiency. So let's begin our simulation. So first, you need to load the structure that we have already done. So this is our structure, and this is the structure we worked in the previous video. So today our target is to change the thickness of the absorber layer, what is pyrovoskite layer here. Uh, what we can do, we can manually change the thickness of this layer and take the data, but it will be very tedious, isn't it? So SCAPS gives us the opportunity to vary these parameters in a single run. So today we will uh, learn how to do that. So for doing this, what you have to do is that you need to go to batch setup. Then you need to press add. And there, here you will get all the layers and interfaces associated with your structure that has been loaded or uh, taken in SCAPS. Here our target uh, layer is pervoskite layer. And in pervoskite layer, you will get all the material parameters associated with this pyrovoskite layer and out today our target material parameter should be thickness. Please carefully note that here the thickness is in micrometer. So you need to give uh, the variation data according to this unit. So our, today our target is to vary the material parameters from 100 nanometer to 1500 nanometer. So today, if we want to change it from 100 nanometer in micrometer, that should be 0.1 micrometer. And if we want to end our simulation at 1500 nanometer, so it should be 1.5 micrometer. Now comes an important steps, that is how, what should be the interval or of the change, that is in which interval you want to take the data. Here today we want to take the data at 100 nanometer interval. So from 100 nanometer to 1500 nanometer, if you give 100 nanometer interval, then there should be 15 points. So here you cannot give interval, rather you can give how many steps you want to consider between the start and end. So here we want to work with the linear scale. Uh, but uh, when uh, you need to work with log scale, I will show you in some other video. Uh, the same it goes for custom list. When you need to use custom list and how to uh, use custom list, I will show you in some other video. So these are the parameters. So let me refresh again. So first you will go add, then you will select the layer. And in, under that layer or interface, you will select, you will select the proper parameter that you want, you want to vary and then you will set the starting point, then the end point and the interval will be set by the steps.
So go to OK. Now we need to uh, set up the simulation environment. We give we need to give light to the solar cell. Then uh, today we are interested only for type characteristic of the solar cell. Then let's give the starting value of the voltage as zero. The end value is around two. Uh, please note that why we are giving two is discussed in our previous video. And we want to stop our simulation app at VOC. So now what we will do is that we will do the batch calculation. So we will start our batch calculation. That is gaps will change the uh, thickness of the perovskite layer and give us the data. But please keep a very careful um, notion here because there will be some issues that you may find and get confused. So let's start the batch calculation. Oops, the calculation didn't work. It may happen when you are varying data. There are cert for certain values, the simulation may not convert because it is a numerical process and it is very much prone not to converge. So for such kind of situation, you don't need to get panic. Rather, what you need to do is that you just ignore it and see if if this um, becomes um, so uh, it if it's resolved in the further uh, variations. So here, for 100 nanometer, the simulation didn't work. So press OK. That means you are we are ignoring it. So for now, we are 200 nanometer. Again, the simulation isn't working, so it's a little bit concerning. So let's see what happens when we ignore it. So let's ignore it. Now 300 nanometer, it's working. 400 nanometer, working. 500 nanometer, working. 600, 700, 800, 900, one micrometer, that is 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, and last but not the least, 1,500. Well, so it didn't work for the some initial values, that is for two values, but finally we got result from 300 nanometer thickness to 1,500 nanometer thickness. So let's see how the results came. So here we are interested for IV characteristic. So let's go to IV characteristic. Yes, so these are my data. So now where we can find the data. So total 15 simulations has been done, but yes, we didn't get uh, first and the second. So out of 15 simulations, we have got from three to 15, that is total to uh, uh, 13 simulations. So to get this data, you need to get, press show. So to get the data, you need to press show. So it will show all the simulation data it has extracted for this IV characteristic. So you just can extract this data. Uh, in some other video, maybe I will show you how you can extract data in a very efficient way, but not today. So after extracting all these data, you will have this very, uh, this table. So here is thickness. For every thickness, you are having open circuit voltage, short circuit current, fill factor, and efficiency. Now, with this data, you can do further analysis, like you can take them to any data-related software and plot them or do uh, some uh, further analysis for your solar cell or characterize uh, your solar cell in a different way or optimize your solar cell. Uh, in some other video, I will show you how you can uh, read these data in different kinds of data-related software, like one of them. What I use mostly is MATLAB, and I will show you how you can read data in MATLAB and then plot it. So that is all about today's video that we have learned today, how you can do batch simulation and you can have data by varying thickness of any layer of uh, your solar cell, but you can do it by varying all other parameters in the same way.
In the next video, I will show you how you can work with different kinds of bulk defects and different kinds of interface defects and how you can vary them. So thank you very much.